We are doing a Shamba Shape Up special on rangelands. Rangelands are the arid and semi-arid areas that make up around 80% of Kenya's landmass. Rangelands vary in size. Some are as small as 50 kilometers squared. But most are huge. Some in the arid desert areas of Turkana, Marsabit, and Wajir, for example, are over 5,000 kilometers squared. Ragelands are mostly community lands. One of the reasons they are so important is because pastoralists use them for grazing livestock. Most of Kenya's red meat comes from areas like this, so they are vital resource for the whole country. Let's go find out about them. So join us on Shamba Shepherd. Rangelands are important, but they are also under threat. Over the years, pastoral livelihoods and land management practices have changed. And now, climate change is only making matters worse. So, we've come to find out about a project that's helping to restore the environment and make rangeland pastoralism successful again. It's called PRM, Participatory Rangeland Management. PRM helps pastoralists better manage their rangelands. For pastoralists to reach their production goals, it's critical to help pastoralist institutions to improve rangeland management. PRM is carried out by residents and users of the rangeland themselves with the help of local government or an NGO. One of the key aspects of PRM is setting up a rangeland management agreement that involves local pastoralist institutions as well as the local government. Sometimes, this means that a formal agreement needs to be made that outlines commonly owned rangelands. To help us understand all this, I've come to meet Ken Utieno, the Executive Director of the Resource Conflict Institute, Reconcile, an NGO helping implement PRM. Although I'm not quite sure where Ken is. Part of the problem of restoring degraded rangelands is the spread of invasive species like this cactus, smothering the native plants. PRM aims to bring these degraded lands back to full health. Ah, there's Ken. Now, I want to ask him to take us through the PRM story from the beginning. So now, what are rangelands? Rangelands are these dry spaces. They support pastoralism as the main livelihood system. Why are they important? The important one because in Kenya, you know, 80% is basically dry areas and they support a production system which is uh, livestock. And uh, two, they are also important for wildlife conservation and management. They demonstrate the total ecological coexistence mm -hmm. where you'll find livestock, you'll find people all together. What are the benefits of rangeland management so far? Very many. One, you'd see that uh, they can uh, rehabilitate the degraded rangelands. Now communities have learned that they can remove all the, these invasive species. They can do reseeding, you know, have more grass in uh, places that they've identified. But also farmers have um, identified the importance of collective work, but also taking up as individual farmers so that they do it in their small private farms, but also look at the bigger uh, well-being of uh, rangelands. Because rangelands consists of uh, livestock, people, and environment. Are the communities in harmony now? A management together in a planned way allows cohesion and also peace and security, especially in places where there's a lot of competing interests. To implement PRM, there must be a local pastoralist institution responsible for planning and overseeing management of the rangeland. An existing local pastoralist institution can be selected, or if there is none, a committee is formed. For this to work well, the committee must represent the community and be respected by everyone. Now we'll meet up with Ken later.